So to change your strings, it's a good idea to have some peg paste available, some graphite in the form of a soft pencil, 2B is ideal. If you have a shoulder rest like this one and you're standing up at countertop height, it's a good idea to fit the shoulder rest and this will keep the instrument nice and stable on your worktop. Loosen off your adjusters if you have them so that with your new strings you have the full range of adjustment. Check the string for quality by pulling it through your thumb and first finger. This also helps soften the string, helps it to play in more quickly. Apply plenty of graphite to your bridge groove and the groove in the top nut. This helps the string slide over the bridge and the nut. Apply some paste, not too much, just enough that the string turns smoothly in its hole without clicking. Fit the ball into the tuner and take up some tension. Feed the peg end of the string through the hole in the peg till it projects about five millimeters. Turn the peg so that the string winds once to the other side of the hole and then back towards the head allowing the string to fill up the gap between the string hole and the inside wall of the peg box. This helps the peg to hold if it's not a perfect fit. Just pull up this tension to about a semitone flat and then take up the tension on the adjuster. Don't wind it down too much. Now again we're going to repeat the process with the E string. Loosen off the adjuster. Refit the peg after a little bit of pasting. Now you can see that the string hole projects beyond the A string, so we've had to withdraw the peg slightly so that the string can go into the hole. Wind it once to the other side and then as you push the peg into the peg hole, wind the string back over and then wind it on. Towards the inside wall of the peg box. Don't forget the graphite. And of course the bridge protector on the string. Take up the tension again to about a semitone flat. Push and turn the peg. And take up the slack on the adjuster. Again with the D string, plenty of graphite, loosen off the adjuster, a couple of turns to bed the peg paste in. Again, one wind towards the far side and then back across. This locks the string on itself. 
Fill in the space. Also helps to keep the peg tight if it's not a perfect fit. And finally with the A string, so once again loosening off the adjuster, A adjusters do tend to wind right down, plenty of graphite, and peg paste. Hook nicely into the claw of the adjuster. Maintain some tension and wind the peg to fill up the gap with the string. So once all four strings are on, tune up over about the next 30 minutes. Thank you very much.